Hi guys, it's Monday, it's Circuit, it's me and I'm here. Thank you all for joining us. And by us, I mean the people you haven't heard yet. We we got some wonderful guests this evening. We have we have the the illustrious guild leader of ALS. I'm not I'm going to let him say the name because I messed it up and I feel dumb. Um we're probably also going to be joined by the people who live upstairs from me as all they do is drag furniture across their floor and scream at each other in an effort to see what it will take for me to call the police on them for some kind of domestic assault. I have two cookies left in case anyone was wondering about that. An affinity for... Oh, hi guys. And, uh... What's up, dog? <laughs> not much. Um, How's it going? It's going well. I'm glad you guys could join me. Uh, burrito, say hi to these people. Uh, shot time, you butt sniffers? <laughs> oh, I don't want to click on things, but I would. If I was in your stream, I'd be putting shot glasses in there. I just, uh, I'll I got too many windows open. It's going to mess everything up. I'm going to have to remove them and open them and put them on top of each other. And I just don't, I don't want to do any of that this evening. Um, if you guys in chat have questions. Oh, so, shit. Rainick. Yo. Yeah. Uh, I want to, I want to say hi real, for reals real quick. Say My hi for Burrito. reals. My name's Burrito. Uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad uh, I'm here instead of Tupac. <laughs> uh, but for real, shot time, you butt sniffers. That's an A plus hello. Raynick. Yes, sir. How are you this fine evening? Say hello to these people. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. It's just a nice opportunity. And, you know, we had a good experience with uh, what's going on with the guild. So cool stuff, man. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad you said yes. I kind of thought of it last uh, that last minute kind of thing and figure I'd throw it out there and see what you said. I think what you're doing is uh, pretty awesome. And I think it's definitely unique and rare, as I'm sure you've noticed. Most people take the easiest uh, path of least resistance kind of thing when it comes to EverQuest. And you are definitely not doing that. You are going out of your way to put hurdles in front of yourself and your guild members. And uh, I like that. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Um, So real before, quick. Oh, go ahead, BT. you say that... I I want to say it was my idea to have ALS on here. Give, give me the props. It's all Burrito's <laughs> idea. Bullshit. I was just, I was sitting here picking my butt, doing nothing like normal, cleaning out my fat rolls. And, no, um, for reals, when you, when you said that, when you talked to me earlier, I was like, oh, shit, man. I should have said something. <laughs> I should have been like, hey, sir, could do this. You dropped the ball. You dropped the ball. You, I spent way too much time cleaning the gunk out of my fat before before it, it came to fruition. But, uh, Rainick. Yeah, so... Who are you? Tell you, There might be people who do not know who you are. Tell them who you are. Right on, man. So, yeah, I'm the guild leader of uh, All Lang Sign on the P99 EverQuest emulation server. And, um, you know, I started playing EverQuest back in 99 played till about uh, on the Brist bristlebane server played till about 2003 or whenever half you know halfway through planes of power and i just you know had to get out i was guild leader then always swore never to lead another guild again <laughs> it just was a lot of work that was about 19 whatever years ago and i was thinking my early 20s and we had a lot of young guys and gals in my guild and so lots it was drama that came with it and like any other server at the time server is not much different so I just, uh, you know, coming back to this game, I, I actually been learned, had came across it about five years ago and joined the forums first. And I came across it because I, I got an, an email from one of my former guild members from way back on Bristlebane just checking in. Like, I'm like, dude, what? This is like 20 years, 19 years <laughs> later. And um, so I went to the P99's forums. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. There's this game going on. That's not the live server, thank God, and it's emulating classic. I was like, huh. All right, so I ran into a couple others that I'd build members and friends from back then here and there. But I still never went and dove in because I knew if I did, you know, everything that came along with EverQuest, as we all know, you know the 
time sink. And... It's like a junkie picking up the needle again. Yeah, sure. I was resisting mm-hmm. that needle. And so, and I mean, at the time, look, building my career and working, you know, I had my family and all that stuff. I was like, I don't know. But I also was out of, you know, that's four years ago. I wasn't ready. And I just kept lurking around the forums until I ran into this, the predecessor guild of all things Stein, name of Ways of Yore. So shout out to Ways of Yore. And, um, you know, the founders of, the, of that guild, uh, Philippus, I believe, was one of the founders or maybe the founder. Excuse me if I'm wrong, guys. But, um, you know, I, I ran across their basically the same premise that we're on at Old Lang Syne, trying mm-hmm. to carry the torch, basically. And uh, for whatever reason, things didn't work out. But it, it drew me into the game. And I back into the game, it's funny. I was hesitant to go download, you know, the, whatever, figure out how to find the files. I actually bought a copy of titanium on ebay for like 20 bucks I actually found one so i have the actual discs sitting here <laughs> nice me nice. too dog me too yeah so i started my old link side career by buying the damn discs before <laughs> and um you know so i joined that guild and i just figured hey this is a great way to get into a, a, a legacy server you know you don't have to worry about gear buying you know green jade broadswords for 20 plat or whatever it just didn't seem like any fun i'm like what happens to all the experience in between all the experiences in between forget the experience or the loot all the fun things that made everquest what it was back in the day um you know raiding you know lady vox with bronze armor or something or if you're lucky thorny vine or something like that um the way it should be yeah, that was the draw. I mean, you know, everybody's got their way to play the game. I mean, I when I was on live, I I, I tunnel quested here, and sure, there was some of that. But I also, I also realized that all those items that I bought, I, I didn't know where they came from, and you know, I didn't know where those half those things came from. So you couldn't put me in a in a in in a zone and figure it out. You know, I just didn't know where the hell things were, and so I just knew I had a lot of twink gear and. So when I came back to the game, I'm like, no, I want to do it this way. I want to play like I did when I first started this game. And that's why I joined it. And, um, you know, shortly after Ways of Yore kind of fell, you know, kind of went its way, parted, parted ways. And shout out to Valeris of um, Alden Stein, one of my senior officers right now, uh, was the original guild leader, took the reins, the mantle with Vitharian, myself, and a couple other guys. I, I just was along for the ride, really. At the time, I was like a little 20-something. And I was pushing hard to try to catch up to all those guys that were that had started all things signed. And so some of them went their ways, and I ended up being like the only level 40 or 50 or whatever around. <laughs> and like, that's, you know, kind of got the mantle of, you know, I was asked to take over, and I took the reins and became the guild leader and started recruiting. Oh, man. And, uh, <laughs> so it started from like three people, probably. I think. January 2017, we had maybe three people in the guild. So one thing I, I know I said off stream, but I'm going to say again. Oh, shut up, phone. One thing I, I firmly believe is that the the best leaders, be it guild leaders or just any any kind of leadership position, real life, game, gaming, whatever, um, it, it's the people who aren't looking for it. It's it's people who no, necessarily don't want to be leaders, and it kind of just gets pushed on them, and they, they're like, fuck it, I'll do it because it has to be done kind of thing. Yeah. And I, I feel like you kind of fit that bill. And Yeah, I didn't want it, I didn't want it to die. <laughs> I didn't want it to die. I, didn't, I was going to leave the game probably if it died, to be well, honest. I don't blame you, to be honest. I mean... I agree with the leader thing. I... I started a guild because I wanted to be a leader. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Pink Soccer. It's it's Dial Dad now, but used to have a better name. Uh, I yeah, still can't believe like, you got that one like through four, the staff. <laughs> for sure. We have like four members. Nobody wants to join because I'm an asshole. Right. I had, to, I had to learn my place on the P99 server, and now I'm just I'm just looking to Rainick for guidance. Is that your place, Burrito? Oh, you're going yeah. down the wrong rabbit hole, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. No, you know, yeah, like I said, like, you know, like I, I didn't want to do it. And I, I just, but it's, we've got a lot of really great people. And it's funny because we've got a lot of people that don't, that's never played this game before, actually, in this guild. So we're actually growing the server population, I think. 
and um, it's a good combination of a lot of experienced players that were sick of the, the same thing over and over again with their raiding guilds and the way they did things and uh, we're sick of uh, we're sick of that wanted to, to experience the content and a lot of new players that get to experience things with those experienced players and everybody's really selfless it's just a selfless totally selfless guild all the guys that volunteer to be officers everybody that volunteers to do things with raids and group assembly people and helping others with quests and whatnot everybody's so selfless and that's the thing it's our you know it's it's our charter our charter our charter outlines all that and it, it it you know if you don't want to live on the charter then don't don't play with it it's fine you don't have to come over to als it's cool so but it I, does its thing sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you go ahead no you're fine you're good i was gonna say what kind of turnover do you guys have because I, I feel like a lot of new players would be like oh my gosh this is the best thing ever they level up they start getting stuff at some point not everybody not everyone likes alts and whatnot but a lot of people like alts and a lot of those people who do like alts they don't like to uh you know start from scratch and so they they twink out a new tune and they fly through the levels and obviously that's not uh kosher for als what kind of turnover do you have with people? I mean, do you lose a lot of people over time as they level up? Do they out-level the guild? Well, what's that like? Yeah, so to start out, I mean, that that was happened. We did have a lot of attrition to begin with. I mean, it was definitely a hard thing to come by. I mean, I, like I said, at one point, for maybe three, four months, I was like the only level 50 in all things signs. So I have no economy to buy from. I was doing my own camps just do my own thing why don't you have an economy to buy from well at the time we didn't because we had no members very little membership but now the vision of our guild economy it's a wholly closed economy that we can trade within the guild you know buy sell barter uh we have level restrictions on the gear you know so if you want to buy a piece of gear from somebody you have your character has to be within six levels of the mob that drops it or the highest level placeholder of that for that mob that drops it whichever is higher so there's a few examples like that but anyway now we've got you know with the, as we grow the more members we add the more people we add to the economy as well right so those so there's more and more buyers more and more sellers more and more farmers of things like silks and, and bone chips and you know starter newbies so we've got an economy where people can come in and they can sell their bone chips at whatever 10 plat a stack or whatever it is to our own members there's people buying them for faction or for whatever same thing with silks we've got tailors we've got other trade skillers and so the perception of front the very beginning and even now you know when the perception has been changing uh at, very rapidly of course uh, but was that there was you know there's no there's no economy how am i going to get gear well you get together with your guild mates and you get gear <laughs> or just go join some pugs as well we don't have a problem with playing with pugs. we, we play in pugs all the time we raid with other guilds, you know, we are part of the Hydro Alliance as well, one of the the uh, permanent members, and or at least the full members at this point, and we enjoy that relationship as well. But again, it's, it's all about earning our own keep, and so with regard to the economy, there's, you know, and turnover, uh, because we have a sustaining, sustaining system, we really have very little turnover, it seems to me, and when we do have some, it's either... We did have one one gen one uh, member decide to, to, to move to another guild recently, and, and that's cool. They think had friends over there, whatever. Um, and then we have some people we have to kick out, to be honest, because of their charter violations. That hasn't happened more than a, maybe one or two times in the last uh, three, four months, probably. Yeah, I, was, I was wondering about this, too, because those are the only instances I've seen uh, a player leaving to a different guild and the one got kicked out. And but I haven't really seen anything else about it. I was wondering, yeah, it seemed seemed pretty stable. It seems like it's yeah. really on like the uptick. Oh, we did was, of new members recently. Yeah, what we did was we moved, decided to move uh, everything to Discord. So we don't have a message board. We just everything is hundred percent Discord. Our charters there, our chat is there. You know, our officer channels are there. Our voice chats are there. Our 
you know, mob timers, whatever. It's all there. It's all contained there. You can, everybody can look at the charter. If they want it's public, they can apply. There's a process to do it, simple process. Um, but we had to get some level of consistency and, and simplicity and visibility. And so sure. that's what the Discord does. And, you know, we can keep track of our members that way, keep track of uh, the level progression. They can, they can change their roles as they progress through the levels or add trade skills or do that stuff. They can kind of, they can find themselves grouped together. So the structure's there that allows everybody, it's actually, I think that the, the attrition is, is our turnover is very low, I would say at this point. It's gonna get even lower as we continue to progress, I think. Because we've got, enough, we've got about, I don't know, 17 or 18 epics in the guild at this point, something like that. Nice. Um, you know, we, we raid Sky every Saturday night with, with the rest of the Hydro Alliance. And, um, you know, we're, we're rather capable. You know, like I said, it's a group of a lot of experienced players that have decided to roll ALS tunes that are now 60, you know, level 60 and uh, 55 plus. And uh, so we get underestimated, but people don't know that. Kind so of do you actually cover. like have, <laughs> uh, I'm sure every, like based on what I know about this community and it's like hall monitor mentality, I imagine you get messages all the time from people being like, I saw an ALS member do this thing, or I saw an ALS member power getting power leveled, or, or getting buffs, or getting fungi tunics for peanuts and things and not earning them. <laughs> right. I mean, um, do you deal with that? Do you, do you, what do you do when that happens? It's, it's funny. It, to begin with, we, I did get some of that. You know, like I was telling Burrito earlier, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just doing my thing, and I get to tell from some random guy saying, I saw one of your members in EC. I'm like, dude, he's in EC. He can run through the tunnel, man. It's all good. <laughs> you know, I mean, I get stuff like that. I haven't had that in a long time, um, to be honest. I think people see that we're capable of some things, and and we've we've made got the jump on some some people, some folks, you know, fair and square. And they get us, they you know, they beat us to things all the time too, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I think with that recognizing that we're, we're we're showing some capabilities there. I mean, I don't get a lot of that. I mean, I don't actually don't. It's funny. I, mostly I get uh, questions just from, you know, people that want to join or, or I'll, I'll get, we'll get some charter questions here and there, but nothing, nothing serious lately, actually. It's been a while. I get, I get it a bunch in my stream. Like, dudes come out and start buffing me and they get my chat yeah. and be like, oh, so you could yeah. just get power leveled in this guild? Yeah, we've had some of that. I saw that on your streams too. It's you know, we have some people that are just gonna be jackasses. It's, all right, whatever. They're gonna come out and try to set people up. It's all good. It's you know we know what's going on, and and um, our members know. Hey, if you if someone's gonna come out and do that, you just leave. Just leave. I know it's gonna suck to leave a group or whatever, but it is what it is. And people that come to this guild are just uh, they're all like minded, and they're they don't want things to be easy. That's the key. They want to experience the game and earn what they're getting. I mean, that Sprally Blade burrito that you earned the other day, man, you could buy that thing for like, what, 10 plat in the tunnel or something? Yeah. But it was the experience of it. And I had a chance to play with you for a little bit of it, but man, that fight you have with the Mold Master, that was dope. Yeah, I and love it. You won the zone. I got, I got and, uh, super excited. Yeah. Runny Eye. It was Runny Eye. And uh, it's just like, dude, the game for us is about the experience, not the experience you get, but the experience is. And, you know, the loot comes along with it just comes along with it you know so and i think that's what people don't understand i know you mentioned something about like uh six levels within your character for a thing to be gotten or whatever whatever right is that right. A thing that make that up no yeah no for sure it, this is with our regard to trade so buying and selling uh the buyer has to be within six levels of the mob or the placeholder that drops the item whichever is higher and the purpose of that is really the kind of um, encapsulate as best you can what you could do as a group of six players taking down a mob. Right. Now, and you're getting experience within those six levels, I suppose. But the fact is that, you know, we said that at six, it seems to work really well, and um, it still gives people opportunity to buy stuff. You know, you're not having to go. You don't have to farm it yourself. You know, you can you can buy stuff in guild, and generally because it's not. You Does know, that apply just... to guild members? Like, could you say? 
as a level 50 or whatever, would you be able to sell a fungi tunic to, say, Burrito's level 30 whatever Shadow Knight? Oh, no. The sh his player would have to be, again, within six levels of, in this case, the Mycenid King, right? That's the guy who drops that. So whatever level he is, if he's six le within six levels of that mob, he can buy it. A okay. good example, I think, was when I, um, I was in a pickup group in Carners and I happened to win a roll on a T-Staff. Well, that T-Staff went to one of our monks, Tesla Coil, and, I mean, it, I think he was at right as he hit the, the, the level or somewhere around the level, the plus six level rule. And because we don't have tons of platinum in our guild, that, that thing doesn't go for 50,000 platinum. You know, it, it's reasonable, and we don't need the platinum because we're getting our own stuff for the most part. We don't need to go to the tunnel and spend our platinum on stuff in the tunnel. All right. I like it. I like it. Um, oh, man. It seems like that would just be a bitch to enforce, though. I imagine you have people with mains in other guilds who, you know, they put their alt in ALS and they start off doing the thing, you know, following all the, the charter rules or whatnot. And then as time goes on, they're like, oh, level 30 sucks. And so yep. they they try to sneak in a, uh, you know, a fungi tunic or a real nice haste item or something from, from their main who is in, say, random raid guild 01. And, uh, <clears throat> like, I imagine that has to happen all the time. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around that, I guess. I know I would. I'm shitty like that. I would definitely be like, eh, no one's looking. I'll just fungi tunic it up for a little bit. Tell people yeah. it's cloth tunic. I think, you know, people realize they just don't want to play god mode all the time. You know, they have their tunes in other guilds or their mains or whatever, and that's cool. And they can, they, There's no rules against that or anything? Well, no, no. If you have a tune in Awakened or whatever, yeah, by all means, you can have your tune over there. We just can't. There's no commingling. You know, you can't uh, give gear or anything, you know, whatever, to your ALS tune. So basically, if an item drops in an ALS group or, or even if you're in a pickup group, that item can leave the guild. It can just never come back. So you can't sell it out of the guild. You can give it to an alt if you want. You can. Oh, give you it can to sell shit to non guildies and whatnot. No, you can't. No, no, oh, no. Okay. I'm saying, you, can, you can. You can. If I get a an RBG to drop or whatever, and and uh, I decide that at the time there was no market for it in my economy, I could have given it to a non ALS tune that mm -hmm. could never join the guild, and that tune could do whatever wants with it. It's not in the guild economy. It's out. It can't come back. There's yeah, no you just give people. it to one of your alts. Yeah, you just give it to your alt. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, people that uh, generally those that have alts or, or mains and other guilds, uh, you know, if they want to play those mains like, to, to have that satisfaction, you know, they have the great gear and doing all that stuff, they go do that, and then they come play their ALS tunes, you know, to, and we have, like, we're, tonight our guild is going to be doing something in Downers. And it's a great zone. I've only been there a couple of times myself, but I've I'm a big fan of that of people, zone. Yeah, tons of people don't know the zone, and they just they might have bought stuff that fell out of the zone, but they won't know where it came from, you know. And it may not even be worth anything. But we don't do it for the value of the item, or we do it for the value of the experience you get out of playing in that zone as a group together. So that's what keeps people in the guild, obviously. And then the fact that we have an economy, growing, budding economy right now, we have, it's been getting better and better. I mean, we used to have sun market Sundays. Every Sunday, we'd all show up in Nectulus Forest and and uh, trade in that in the OOC, in that zone, while all the stuff, kind of like as a thumb in the, you know, at the, in the eye at uh, the EC Tunnel, that <laughs> zone it's over. It's kind of like a guild-only flea market kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much. We'd show up as a flea market, right. But since, cool. you know, we're a lot bigger and we've moved to all Discord, we have a Bizarre channel in our Discord, so you can sell your stuff in the Bizarre channel. You can want to buy, want to sell, whatever. And um, and that works well. There's tons of trade going on every day. And, um, you know, we're not looking for... A lot of stuff goes just for vendor prices, to be honest with you. It just is what it is. You know, I think I sold Burrito a, foot, a PGT and... Uh, no, not a PGT. It was the scepter of Rahotep. A couple other things are like fourteen plat. Like that's yeah. vendor priced because I don't need the money. To be honest. <laughs> I mean, no, I guess you don't if you're farming your own stuff. 
and you're right. not playing the EC tunnel game with you know whoever happens to be in the EC tunnel. I yeah, imagine it's you don't. To, it's, other it's than it's hard to understand until you get into it, and you realize you can actually make this thing work. You know, it was a lot harder to start. I know it would work if we had people. We just need people, you know, bodies, and people willing to group together. And so we got a great, you know, group of people. And then I heard Burrito was was uh, was I think you maybe Burrito you, you tell about how you came across ALS. I think it was one of your viewers that may have brought it up. I don't know, but you could talk about that. <laughs> um, well, I guess I've been hearing about it for a long time. Like I said, uh, one kill quota was in ALS at the same time I was doing a like non-twink mage character. And I, uh, I just didn't want to join at the time because I kind of said, like, fuck all the other guilds on the server. I'm just going to play with my friends. I'm just going to like make a guild with some friends and we'll just play together. And I had a lot of fun doing that. But uh, I had made a couple non-twink characters and I went to make another one, and I was like, yeah, I should. So many people, a bunch of people in the chat had said it, but One Kill Quota, I guess, is the first person to tell me about it, really. And I I just said, yeah, screw it. I'll do it. Let's do it. And uh, it's been great. Other than the first night where I was like, let's do it, and the interview was all awkward, and people didn't know if they could trust me yet, like honestly, like I uh, people thought I was probably trolling, joining this guild. I don't know why they would think that about you. Exactly, right? <laughs> you know what's funny is that um, that night was hilarious, man. I don't know if anybody if, if anybody wants to go back and check out Burrito's interview to join ALS. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. This guy, first of all, Narl is one of my senior officers. Narl, one of our our first or second epic rogue, uh, level sixty, and. Um, you know, great officer does a great job, like the rest of them. But he took the interview, and um, I jumped into your stream. I think that was actually one of the first times I jumped into your stream. I'm like, you know, who is this burrito guy? And um, I was the best thing, man. He gave you, he grilled you on all the charter questions. You read the charter out loud in your stream, <laughs> and you did. Well, I had to. At a certain point, I had to just read the charter because he kept asking me questions that I had no answer yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, and but I was exactly. just looking on the other monitor, trying to look it up. But what was great is that, you know, you weren't scoffing at it. You were reading it legitimately. You were wanting to understand it, and you were retaining it. I was watching this, and I was like, let's see how this goes. You know, everybody, whoever was interested, man, come on in. I don't care at all. If you're willing to play by these rules, and you respect one another, if you respect the, the, the server pop, play nice policies and all that, but you respect your guild members, you know, um, come on in. So, Narl ran you through the. I mean, he ran you through the press right there with the with some of those questions, and you were game. And at the end, I think he dueled you, right? <laughs> like, he killed me to yeah. get something like that. It was pretty cool. It was really yeah, it was dope. Night. Yeah. So anybody, I encourage you to go check out Burrito's uh, you know, stream that night. I don't know when it was, but it's pretty cool. And um, you know, once you broke out, you know, at that night you were talking up. You were playing your Shadow Knight, your twenty two Shadow Knight with Bandit and you know, turned them red just to try to prevent those coming in to buff you and all that stuff because you didn't want to be twinked and power level. And right there, I was like, this guy's going to fit in perfectly. I'm not worried about anything. Dude's going to be... I think most of fun. it... I think most of it, why I uh, got that mentality was a product of the stream, and it was because people would just follow me and give me items and power level me. And I've been given some crazy fucking items on this server... People just do it because I'm streaming. And I, yeah. I was like, let's just have like a character where this doesn't happen. Just just make a character say, hey, guys, don't do that. And, and they didn't listen. So then I went red. Like they would just buff me. And they, in spite of me, like because I was telling them not to, they would come and like heal me when I was almost dead fighting something. It was like starting to get exciting. And I was like, holy shit. And then somebody would complete heal me. And I'd be like, what the fuck? Come on. Right. But yeah, went red, went red, did that for a while, uh, got bored of it, and then I made a new non twin character, joined the guild, and like, been going hard at this guild ever since. I've been like grooving with a bunch of people in the guild, like every day. It's It's been awesome. Everybody's been really fucking chill, and uh, 
not trying to like get something from you. It's kind of like messed I said, up. Like, Sorry. I bought I bought a I bought a necklace for like ten plat, and then I sold it for ten plat, and it was like yeah, it was cheap as fuck. It was a good deal, and I gave somebody else the same deal. It's kind of messed up that you actually had to go turn in the PvP book just to get people to leave you alone in that regard with the buffing and the healing and the trying to power level you and for some reason they think you're retarded and not capable of asking for help if you want it because <clears throat> i mean and i could be wrong but i feel like when you're streaming you know you're streaming and i feel like you're also aware that twitch has a chat room and and people that watch your stream and uh, at any time, if you were looking for buffs or power levels or any of those things, it would be pretty easy for you to be like, hey, nerds, why doesn't somebody come here and buff me? Thanks. 100%, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's, that's also what I was apparent. I'm like, yeah, come on, guys. I mean, he can, he can ask for it if he wants it, and it seems like he wants to actually challenge himself and that's the part of the reason why we're so we do what we do is we like to challenge i mean it, it, there's no fun in playing it if it's easy i mean and i'm not saying I'm not, and I'm not saying i'm not saying the high end is not is easy i know it's not easy and i know and i respect what the the high-end guilds can do man it's crazy you know the, the way they can mobilize and, and the dedication they, they give to this game i mean it's it's amazing to me but we're not trying to be that you know we're trying to just you know, experience the game and do whatever we can actually accomplish. And if that happens to be some high-end stuff, then, hey, awesome. Great right. for our members. Do you have plans, maybe not today, but, I mean, down the road eventually, do you have plans to see if you can bring a uh, ALS into Plane of Fear and kill some golems, Or maybe do a, you know, 52 and under uh, Lady Vox raid or something along those lines? Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. We actually did get a golem ourselves 100 percent als about three weeks ago oh shit congrats and thank you and uh yeah our guys mobilized they were they were johnny on the spot and we got an an, an aon to drop as well ty is the lucky owner of that and oh uh, god i bet that made his whole his whole yes. night <laughs> I, and I you know that's the thing for me I, it's hard for me because I, i'm a pacific time guy and i play late generally and i'm on sure. during the day when i'm working just to kind of, you know, do a little soloing or AFK camping or whatever, or just, you know, kind of seeing how people are doing, checking in on the guild. Mm -hmm. So it's, I don't get out to the things like tonight, like we're, tonight we're in down there, you know, and it's really cool because I can actually group with my people, my, my, my guild mates on a, on a lower level tune and um, mid-level tune. And so that night I wasn't there. Uh, we got a golem and that's the night Callus uh, was able to complete his epic. And so we've got two epic uh, shaman in our guild. And uh, that night was all 100% ALS. That was one of our best nights, really, oh, to be yeah. honest. That's got to feel real good. Yeah, for I sure. Mean... That's the thing. And you, you realize that every single one of those guys started at 15 or under in this guild with nothing and did not buy anything outside the guild. So you do know, you have that's... a cap? Like, if you're past level whatever, you're, you can't yep. join? Yes. 15 oh, is our cap. You cannot join after 15. No shit. And... Yeah, and and we've had you know people come by. What can Just I? Just every level? opportunity to make it harder for yourselves, you are taking it. Damn right, I like it. <laughs> that that level cap was actually ten at, for a long time, and we had a good, healthy debate in the offices about raising it even to fifteen. So the compromise, you know, we had guys come in and say, "Hey, what if I power level my like applicants come in and say, hey, what if I power level myself to twenty with CB belts? We, you know, can I apply that? I'm like, no, you just power level yourself to freaking 20 with the bunch of cb belts you bought <laughs> you're not going to get past 21 in this guild so uh you know we, we reduce it brought it down we, we're, st we're sticking to 15 and um you know it's worked well because everybody's got you know has earned everything they've that they've got on them in this guild since you know anything they had before that was cloth or maybe some bandit or whatever and that's you know we, we do an inspection on inv on every invitation as well we take a you know screenshot. So they don't have to be naked, but like gear level appropriate gear. Yeah, yeah. If they if they got themselves a starting quest item, or they got themselves cloth or whatever that they got themselves, and it's an honor system, you know. But we'll do an inspection and we'll we'll, we'll make sure we'll know what you what, what you have on you, whether you've gotten it or not. You know, we earned it yourself or not. Um, but yeah, that's what makes it 
uh, all that more enjoyable is that every single one of these guys and gals uh, have been earned their stuff from the beginning and have been together, you know, since, since then. And so anybody coming in, there's a lot more support, bigger support system now. There's a nice economy going on. There's plenty of players to group with. It wasn't always that way, you know. So it's a great, play, great time to come in, anybody interested. I mean, all right, so real quick, I want to ask you, what's what's the hardest, other than maybe the Golem, what's the, the hardest thing? <clears throat> and it doesn't even have to be a raid mob necessarily or a mob or whatever, but just what's the hardest thing about um, so far about the whole AL, uh, ALS thing? Is it just policing people to make sure they're following the charter? Is it actually trying to get game content finished? Um, like, what what is the, the biggest hurdle for your, for you as a guild, I guess. I, I think it's, that's a like multifaceted question because for the higher levels, it's, it's hard for things. Mobilization is, is still sometimes a challenge. You know, for example, we don't have puppet strings, so we can't go out and buy a bunch of uh, OT hammers. And, um, you know, for the lower levels, it's like I said, it's getting a lot easier because we've got a lot of good support at the lower levels, at lower and mid levels. So um, I would say, you know, gear isn't really a problem. Resist gear can be kind of a challenge, you know, making sure we've got our resist up to snuff for things like halls of testing or, you know, we're, we're going to be trying out things like, uh, you know, West EOV, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, making sure we have the proper resists. Um, but the policing part, to be honest, every it's an honor system. And my officers, you know, we all do follow up on, on uh, applicants, and that's how we you know catch people we haven't again again we haven't had this problem more than once or twice in the last three four months with anybody breaking the charter rules um so it's been really good in that respect so challenges are all really game mechanics to be honest at this point i think i see i see normal, normal challenges any guild might run into what we're trying to do all right and and if there are people listening who who might be curious in joining do you have website or guild recruitment thread or where can they go to get more info on ALS or if they don't even need more info but just know they want to join? How, how do they do those things? Well, all you got to do is go to our Discord server and check out our new applicants section. There's instructions. Yeah, I'm a there. dick. I'll, I'll get a link. I had yeah, a link earlier, but then I copied something else. <laughs> right, because I was going to say it's people who don't know where to go aren't going to have a link to the Discord server. Right. Yeah, if you got that, cool. That'd be sweet. Post it up. Yeah, it's all there. Our charter is publicly available. You can read through it any, as much as you want. Ask questions as much as you want before applying. So it's all there. I'm also guessing, since Burrito is a member of your guild, that you don't have any issues with people streaming guild content or guild things. No, it's new for us, to be honest. Um, we haven't had any issues. I don't have any issues with it. Um, you know, some people have expressed some concern about, you know, guild chat, but we really don't, we really don't have a problem with it at this point. Um, the other thing we've had, you know, anybody concerned about voice, you don't have to be in our voice chat when there's a stream of a raid going on or something like that. You can, you know, and, and somebody like Burrito can mute you or whatever. Um, so you know, I want to make sure everybody... We just want everybody rep repping us well, and um, you know, Burrito's done done that. <laughs> He's honestly done that. So would I really you say he it. is a model citizen of this here fine community? <laughs> I would say so. The guy follows the charter, man. He does his thing, and a lot of people coming in are, are coming in from his stream as well. So props to him and uh, some of the other. We got a few others. We got maybe actually probably three other streamers um, in the guild now. Some of them have have uh, come in because they know Burrito. So that's pretty pretty cool. So it's a developing thing, you know. We we'll, we'll, we might have to address it. I don't. Not you need to make posters with his with Burrito's face on them that are like "Join ALS today." Yeah, right. <laughs> make him the the poster child for the guild. Get him out there shaking hands and kissing babies. Yep. And you know, to be honest, I'm happy. I'm fine with this being a challenging thing. We don't want we don't want everybody coming in if it's not right. That's cool, man. You don't have to. You know, you don't have to do it. We want people that want to do it, and we don't want to have to 
you know, why would you waste your time? Well, I mean, I think part of the tweaking? reason people like this game is because it, it is challenging. I mean, it was challenging back in the day. It was very unforgiving. Um, there's definitely a learning curve for people that, that don't have live experience. I know it's not the, by far not the majority, but there are some people on P99 who never played live. And then for right. those people who, you know, once upon a time they logged on to live for the first time and it was their first day ever of experience in EQ, it was not a very forgiving game. I mean, just little things that we take for granted, like I died and I don't know where my corpse is now in this giant <laughs> massive zone that doesn't have maps. Like that right. was that was hor that was that was rough. You die somewhere like West Karana? You might as well just re-roll. You die right. uh, on the boat somehow in Ocean of Tears. Your boat, your corpse just falls through and into the ocean floor somewhere. Like that's that's rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of that, I mean things like you know high level spells and and uh, whatnot. Yeah, that's been a challenge. We've gotten some of those done. We've got at least one torpor strum at this point. Um, so that challenge is getting. Is becoming less and le less and less as we grow. Uh, those uh, those challenges will be overcome in some respect because we can't just go to the tunnel and buy anything. Right. And that's fine. We're fine. We'll go out and get it as best we can. I mean, it's got to feel better too when you're out there actually earning your stuff. I mean, it's got to be the closest mm -hmm. thing to that first character. I don't remember if I said this on stream or if it was before stream, but. I mean, most people that I've talked to, their first character is the most fun they've had. It's They're never like, oh, yeah, no, I'm addicted to EQ because of my alts. Like, that was just so much fun leveling up my my third shaman. Like, that that's not what you hear. You Whenever people are reminiscing about the, the things that got them hooked, it's always, you know, oh, blah, 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 my first character, we were in this zone, and this thing happened and we all almost died but I, I survived right. and I got the kill on the mob and we got the loot and we win. Right. And, oh, and to answer the other question you had asked about Vox and Nagafin, yeah, I mean, those definitely are... We, we actually had a thank you to the server, by the way. Um, big thanks to the server. Um, I would say early, like, first quarter of 2017, Scaleway and myself, really Scaleway was out there trying to negotiate deals with the bigger guilds to, to allow us as all they signed to take a shot at stuff like Nagafin and Vox and they gave us those shots so big big ups to those to all the servers that I mean that server that rather the guilds that, that allowed us those opportunities we didn't succeed it, actually by the time we got to Nagafin the date we had we had a lot of guys that just couldn't they just were past 52 and weren't it wasn't the, the timing was bad um, we did take out you know Finnegill as our first target was our first big target and it was you know we just did it the old school way uh dispels and all and um that was a lot of fun you know so we definitely want to circle back with our next wave or you know alts and all that of, of is that symbol is that how teams. people people pronounce finny finnegill finnegill <laughs> i don't know finny finnegill i just say finny people make fun of how i pronounce so many things in this goddamn game Finnegal, right? Finnegal. Finnegal? I don't know. But yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do stuff like that. And I think we'll be very successful at it, honestly. You know, we got the right people. And so, uh, you know, the monk I'm playing is going to stay at 52, probably, uh, for that purpose. And uh, to help pull in Sky and stuff like that. People are, are spelling out the pronunciation for all the words they think they say right. <laughs> Queen, uh, like Quinos. 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 Piranha. Sow. I think I call him Finigil. Oh. It's not a freaking sow, man. That's a, that's a female pig. Can I uh, answer a question that was asked in chat? Yeah, earlier? absolutely. If there, um, right. hold on. If there's questions for chat people, um, do me a favor. Do at Circin or at burrito or at rainick and uh it will it will highlight on our screens if we're watching and we will answer your questions all right uh earlier two two pack shacker he asked uh <laughs> does anybody like me no dude nobody nobody <laughs> just no nobody 
Oh shit, an ALS member found me. I'm invisible too, he just knows where I'm at. Yeah, and uh, somebody asked me if I found my pants. Yes, I did find my pants. Were they missing? They were missing for a while. <laughs> Back in the day, I had I had, uh, had no pants, so I had to go get them. And it was a pair of IVH pants. <laughs> You're like my buddy Uber Bandit, who went up to like level 30 or 31 without ever acquiring a pair of a pair of pantalones. And let me tell you, that quest was tough to solo at 32 without pants on. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. That was part of that's the whole purpose. It was tons of fun. I would never have done that in another guild. No. It is really cool. I like the sword I have. Take it down, Mold Master. The Spirali Defender's Blade. It's like a Garver sword for sure, but I had so much fun doing that. Like just the camp and the stream, and like people were supporting me, mostly from the guild, because everybody else seems to have. Seems to have an issue with it. Uh, I think everyone else is just hating because you're doing it different than them. It's weird though. Like, we're not, we're not even, we're not like a threat to anybody else's play style. Doesn't matter. You're doing it different than they are. There can only be one right way to play a game, burrito. It's How ridiculous. dare you play it differently than they play it? Are you trying to say you're better than them? Are you trying to say they're not as good as you because they I don't take the easy so. route? I never do that though. Like I never tell people how to play. I'm just I'm just happy to play with people. Uh, Shot time, you butt sniffers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say on that note. You know, we had uh, there's a lot of support actually out there. I find. I mean, a lot of the other guild leaders actually. You know, we had uh, a recent player meet agreement uh, involved guilds like the second sons and uh, and all of csg and stuff like that omni those guys really uh anonymous really helpful blood guard and they brought us in man they, they included us into the little you know we had a couple mobs to targets on you know we got uh like we got our own you know a faded r out of that or two faded r's i think out of that which was really cool and um you know a lot of people are um, very supportive of what we're trying to do and, um, you know, so thanks to all you guys that are out there that are doing that. Are but, oh, my God, you haven't even killed Vulok. You're not a real guild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, you know, one of these days. Watch out. Um, We're coming. We're going to be the biggest guild. I mean, if that ever did happen, I think that would be amazing. I don't know if it will just because you take every opportunity possible to make things harder for you. Whereas every other guild tries to make things as easy as possible, sometimes to the I, point of well, bending or, or damn near breaking rules in half. Yeah, I agree, but not necessarily. Like, at, at the max level, it, we're not taking, like, making everything hard. It'll be, like, a bunch of 60s helping each other out to get to, like, get whatever they need, you know? Well, how does it work for That's joint really... raids then? Like, because you mentioned that sometimes you do things with uh, Hydro Alliance. You mentioned Blood Guard. How does that work um, loot wise for you guys? Like, are you allowed to take loot from those raids? Well, we only we only really raid with other guilds, like in the Hydro Alliance. Generally, uh, we had a couple opportunities where we might have been able to, to pair up with like uh, the Second Sons and some other guys. Um, but if we're there earning it, you know, on that raid that's we could definitely take whatever we're earning we can't at all dip into the hydra bank uh we can't buy or sell from anybody in uh, to, from or to anybody in hydra um you know we don't uh none of the items that come out of a hydra rate can, can be circulated um mm -hmm. you know it there's in as much as we can put uh, constraints on something like that uh, you know, the way I looked at it is, you know, we're all able to, within our charter rules and our guild ourselves, is, is to play individually in pickup groups. So if I'm one of six members in a pickup group doing, I don't know, something in several lists, well, I'm not doing that content on my own. Uh, but I'm able to go to that group and, you know, get, join a group like that and, and uh, earn loot from that group. So the same by the, the same token, we're one of five or six guilds that get together to, to tackle harder content and uh, you know we bring 
a number of people that to these raids and uh, are a big factor in the success of the raids, I, I think, along with the rest of the guilds in Hydra. And for that matter, you know, we're able to, sh to uh, earn that loot as well. Yeah, I could see that. I guess it's pretty much the same thing as just an XP group or whatever, a lower gut group, but just on a larger scale. You're yeah, still yeah, exactly. doing level appropriate content. You're doing it with guild Absolutely. members. But and, not every you know, XP we're... group is going to be six ALS members, just like not every raid is going to be 100% ALS members. Right. And we follow a separate loot system through the Hydra Alliance, uh, you know, where people have to earn their, their time in the on these raids. They can't, you know, you got to earn rap points every, you know, a point an hour, basically. And uh, you've got to be there for the drop, at least in ALS. You know, there's plenty of uh, rules that we have in our own guild that prevent us from benefiting from things like uh, the Hydra Bank or where there's extra items from Sky or something like that. We can't touch any of that. Uh, okay. It, you have to be there for the drops. If you want your freebie belt, you better, you know, you got to be there. <laughs> All you right. Know, and we got lucky. We had a lot of, uh, we were, uh, when we first joined Hydra, we uh, were able to group with really, really great players from Guild like uh, Paradox and and uh, Sots and the other members of Hydra, Blackheart Pirates, um, Homeland Security, and uh, now we have Material Continuum. And um, That Mr. guild has been around forever. Material Continuum, yeah. I'm pretty great. sure, has been doing things since before I was around here. Yeah, and Eternal Sovereign's another one, and um, we just uh, give a provisional invitation to Misfits of Mar. Those guys are really good people, too. A lot of small, it's, the thing is, it's a lot of small guilds getting together to do stuff that's maybe not even considered big by the big guild standards, you know? Uh, so it's all very challenging. Sure. Burrito, I got a question for you. Uh, um, I believe you said you joined ALS in f early February? Is that accurate? Uh, late-ish. Late okay, and we'll just say something. February. Um, has it helped? Like, are you still getting all the bullshittery that you were getting from people, or has it gotten worse or better? I think it's uh, definitely got better. I think what happened was uh, people in the guild started to check me out. So there was a lot more support in my stream because of those people. And so uh, all the haters didn't talk so much shit around a bunch of people support me. I like it. So no regrets. You're having fun. No. You would recommend the guild to other people if they wanted a, a challenge or something like that. What I've always said to, like, my chat is, like, especially the people that have had an issue with it, like, why don't you just try it, just play it, and then you could stop playing that character. Like, get level 7, and you're like, never mind, this isn't for me, or get level 30, and you bow out. Like, whatever level you get to, like, you could just be done. But you don't have to, like, sit around and hate on it. Again, there's a lot of people that hate anything that isn't the way they do it. They, it threatens them. It's like, if you're doing it differently, then you're clearly saying the way I do it is wrong. And yeah. and people get so goddamn upset and butthurt about things, and they don't realize that there's more than one way to play the game. Just because someone does something one way and someone does something another way, and you got someone doing something a third way, it doesn't mean one of those ways are right and two of those ways are wrong. It, it just means we're lucky enough to be playing a game that, that is sandboxy enough to where it's not just you get on the track, you go from point A to point B to point C, and that's the only way you play this game. Yeah, for right. sure. We've we've talked about this in the past with, like, the way I stream and play, and, like, I never raid. I, I don't join guilds or, like, make my own guild to try to compete. I just enjoy, like, the leveling up process and playing with friends. Yeah, I mean, the, it's the social aspect. and For sure. I think, honestly, that's what makes EQ great is mostly the social aspect. I mean, no one's like, oh, man, EQ has the best game mechanics I've ever seen. Or, oh, man, e Classic EQ has just the best raid encounters. Because literally every other MMO has more challenging, more in-depth, more everything in terms of raids. Um, the mechanics for, for everything are pretty straightforward. So I, I do think it's the social aspect. And I, aspect? Whatever. I do think it's the aspect. social. It's fine. It's We're just moving right past that. 
it's <laughs> it's the social shit and it's it's uh it's it's equally uh what you do but equally as important as who you're doing it with i'd say and and sometimes that means friends sometimes that means strangers sometimes it uh it's a mixture of both meeting new people so i right. like that burrito yeah oh, I... sorry Go ahead. No, go ahead. You have a question for Brito. Go I was ahead. just going to ask him kind of off topic, I guess. But have you ever like tried to app to a guild or had interest in considering joining a guild, but then found out that if you joined, they'd have an issue with you streaming? And and so that kind of shot it down in the dead. Uh, yes, for sure. A couple times. And one time I actually joined a guild and then I just streamed anyways. Huh? And... Uh, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and we we killed a dragon. And they're like, uh, somebody in this raid is streaming right now. I started seeing that as we were fighting it. And then yeah, afterwards they were like, yeah, you can't do that. You can't just stream. And I was like, oh, I'll just you can't uh, just not stream. What's guild. wrong with you? You fucking monster. Definitely just left, and that's when I made my own guild and just played with my friends. But yeah, I haven't really. I'm not a guild leader, and I don't recruit people to join Dial a Dad. So I'm not really going to raid unless I do something like this. I'm guessing they should all contact Akinsenu if they are interested in Dial a Dad stuff. Exactly. <laughs> I always put it on Akinsenu. Oh, uh, poor That Ak. dude plays a lot less EverQuest than I do. It's fine. He can handle it. Oh, man, there ain't no one in here? What? Well, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say some of the creativity, you know, creative ways to play this game. I mean, that trait, scruffic buff, brought up something. The T staff and one of my uh, steam officers, ain't no thing, recently nerfed to Anton. <laughs> huh? um, that T staff that dropped, like I said, you know, okay, take it to the tunnel, sell it for 50, 60k, whatever. Um, I think I traded. I was looking for a Tolan's bracer, still haven't gotten it, um, but I, um, which is cool because I don't really need it. I don't really care about it now, but. I think I got uh, Tesla. I got the T staff. I got a tink bag from each of each Tesla and Ain't No Thing, and then Ain't No Thing got a Cobalt Bracer from Tesla. Tesla Coil, one of our, our you know top one of our top monks. And uh, so you know, it, I don't really care. I mean, it was like Tesla could use the staff. Why am I going to sit on that thing? I might let it gather dust until what somebody can gather fifty thousand platinum for it. No. Mm -hmm. And. Um, it's useful. It helps us on a raid. Helps us in a group. Whatever. And ain't got his um, cobalt bracer. <laughs> and uh, you know, I didn't get a Tolan's bracer, but I don't really care. I don't really need it right now. And it'd be fun to get one. I'd like to go down there and get one ourselves. That'd be fun. Um, you know, the experience. We've killed him a few times. He didn't, you know, Brog hasn't dropped it, but it's all good. Um, you know, it just makes the game more fun to cooperate like that and collaborate. You have ownership in what you're doing. Sure. And I mean, also, how do I say this? There's different, um, we'll say calibers of players. Where, what I mean is like some people, they eat, breathe, and sleep this game. They know it inside out. They've been playing on P99 for a long time. They played live for a long time. There is no mystery or unknown things to them. And so... A, I think a guild like yours would kind of give them another, uh, a new or different kind of challenge. And I think also that, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of things for like super experienced people. Because I imagine most of the people you're getting are not, and definitely not all, but I feel like most of the people you'd be getting are people who, who are probably super casual or mostly casual and, and, uh probably don't have a ton of experience rating just because i've noticed once people get a taste of the pixel pinata they they get hooked on it and it's real hard for them to get off that it's funny you say that because uh, to be honest it like i said it's, it's a mixture but we've got a lot of really experienced players in this guild and they they, they enjoy it because they get the experiences out of it you know they, they get to see content they didn't usually you know, they might have skipped over just because they were min-maxing or whatever you call it. 
Um, you know, things like if you can mobilize to get Varina Tomb twice, or uh, what's the other mob in uh, Cabela's twice, you know, it's highly contested, and we've done that. We've got two enchanter epics in our guild. Um, you know, it takes dedicated people willing to jump in at you know, times we have those people. We also have a lot of casuals and a lot of totally new players. So it's a really cool mixture of people that are just learning from each other and experiencing content they may not have seen before. Um, you know, that's why I play the game, to, to play with the, these, all these people that are like-minded and, uh, you know, experiencing things that I hadn't before either. That's awesome. I mean, I'm trying to think the last thing. I know there was something that I stumbled upon in EQ not too long ago, and I was just like, holy shit, I didn't know that was even a thing. And I, I commented in the uh, CSR chat we have, because, you know, I've been, I've been on P99 for six years. I played here for two years before that. I GM'd on a different server. I played live. And the fact that there's still things that I can find and be like, holy shit, I've never seen this. Like, that blows my mind to me. And, uh, I don't know, it's stupid little things that, you know, that, that make this game a lot of fun. And... I feel a lot of people miss those things because they do the opposite of what your guild does. They they twink out a character, they get a friend to power level them, they race up to 50 as fast as humanly possible, and then instantly want to jump into raiding and, and all of that endgame stuff. And they forget that there's an entire world of, of EQ to be played. Uh, I have to imagine, like, the the soul the soul roll temple quests are probably a big deal in your guild as people aren't allowed to buy the items from EC and it's all level appropriate it's quests it's no drop for the most part I'm pretty sure all right. of it's no drop mm -hmm. um, so I have to imagine that's probably a big deal once people get into the range to do those things um, yeah certainly what what would you say are like the big uh, like Oh, how do I say this? The big, big... Is milestone the right word? Benchmarks? Like, uh... Like, w from being the guild leader and just, you know, interacting, talking, seeing, listening, hearing, all that shit, what, did, what would you say people are, are currently, like, most excited about doing? Like, what do you hear people, like, pounding their chest and being like, I did it! The most about. I don't... I want to say real quick, I don't... I haven't been in the guild that long... But some of the sh shit that I've seen happened, happen. <laughs> uh, I helped a necro like get his epic, and I thought that was cool as fuck. Since I've been here, some necromancer got his epic. Shit. Yeah. Kaikuzai. That's Kaikuzai that got his epic. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, it's it's actually impressive when you really think about what the necro epic requires. Then mixed with like how your guild operates and the rules within your guild, I think that's super impressive that you guys are pulling. Like, if you're like, oh, we got a rogue epic, I don't care. But if you're getting like the harder ones, the necro, the chanter, the 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 hell, even the mage one, like uh, it takes time if not effort and. Uh, like, I think it's super impressive you guys are getting those. Do you have any warrior epics yet? Because I know nope. that's, nope. that's, that, oh, that's going to that's... be a pain in the ass to get that green scale. <laughs> we've got, you know, yeah, we've got plans to, to, to try. You know, we're definitely, you know, definitely have that on the, on the you know, the planning radar, depending on the numbers and all that. But it's, yeah, we're going to we're gonna try. We don't let anything get in our way. You know, we're going to keep trying. Um, and the experience is just going to help us get better. So I'd say, yeah, anybody with an epic, obviously. But not only just an individual achievement, but it's been a guild achievement for the most part because the same guys are coming out helping out. You know, the same guys are they're tracking. Um, and it's just like a it's a huge accomplishment for everybody involved. And it's it gives people that, that are coming in some reassurance that, hey, I can, I can, we can do this stuff. You know, we can do it together. We also... Oh, like I said, one or two times a week, we'll join up with Hydra and do those things. But we have our guild nights, you know, we'll, we'll do them uh, Wednesday nights or generally our Wednesday. It used to be Monday nights, so we're doing a Monday night lower mid-level stuff right now and down there. You don't say. Yes, sir. Well, that's pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. And uh, oh, there you go. I was being sarcastic because I was I watching know. you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, you know, 
this is fun. It's fun to do stuff like this. And um, so I think even just crawling a dungeon that you haven't seen that you didn't expect to see um, is a fun accomplishment. You may not get loot out of it because we're not about loot. You know, the loot comes. And yeah, certainly if you're in the position and you want a shot at it and you've earned that shot, you know, yeah, you want that shot. But we're more about you know, the road that takes us there. That's, that's what we've been doing. The journey, uh, the adventure. The that's right. So things like we've got a you know a funny colloquial, uh, the IBC club, you know, Ixar Berserker Club, you know, that's like one of those <laughs> things you can camp at like level twenty or so mm-hmm. by the solo. It's a great weapon, you know. It happens to be Kunark, and it is what it is. There was a time when Kunark wasn't open actually to this to the, your predecessor guild, and then we opened it up, and then Velius we opened up. Um, I opened up, I think. Uh, when you Fegu say that, up. you mean it was it was here on P ninety nine. You guys yes. just weren't doing it. Yes. That's oh, right. damn. Just every possible hurdle. And it was early on, you know, to be fair. Uh, so we've been, every, you know, I figured, uh, you know, let's not restrict our members any further. Let's let's be able to go see Valius and do that stuff if you can. Um, there's no reason not to. It's part of the game, and we don't want to make it harder than it is. And, sure. Uh, so, you know, with that being said... It's got to feel good anyway. when you finally get there, though. Like, like I, I yeah. could hear just from... Uh, from Very burrito proud. talking about the helping the dude get the necro epic like uh i don't know i mm, it might sound wrong and i hope what i mean comes across but like it's almost like getting an epic in your guild means more to you guys than it might mean in a different guild where someone gets their epic when they can mq a few pieces buy a few pieces exactly. this that the other Mm-hmm. You join a guild, and they just MQ you an epic. How fucking? How do you feel about that? Like, how should you feel about that? I mean, I know a lot of people who would be like, "Sign me up for that free epic." Yeah. Yeah, and I don't begrudge anybody that wants to do that. That's cool, you know. I mean, we've all been there at least at some point in our, at least back in the day. I don't know that I ever did a multi quest, but we had members of my old guild uh, back on live that did, you know. But um, yeah, certainly. Um, I have to imagine it's a lot more fulfilling when you've done all stages of it and you've been able to walk through the actual content as the game designers developed it, uh, intended it to be played, you know, in that respect. I hate to put a, I'm not putting a judgment on any way somebody plays, but in that respect, you know, just playing through the content. It's fun. Don't skip it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. What well, did the EverQuest developers intend for just raids? If like, that's what they wanted, there wouldn't be so much mid-game and early-game stuff. Right. I mean, they right. didn't it, build the entire crazy. Soul Roll Temple and all those quests so that people could just power level to 50. No, but once they realized the guilds were just crushing through the content, they started releasing more content and giving the best like guilds beta tests... And having them join, like, how do we make this game better? Having them join the discussion. And then it just took off from there. And then it was, like, one or two fucking expansions every year for 20 years. <laughs> uh, that's... I, I, I don't like the way they did that. Um, I don't think just catering to the top 10 or 15% of your population... And not really giving a shit about the other eighty-five to ninety percent is the right way to go. I mean, there's, there's. I'm not saying completely ignore them, but I feel they focused on that way too much. And people would blow through content. New expansion comes out, top guilds just blow through the content, and then they're like, "Give me more." And and I don't know. I, I feel people like if if I was in charge of a game and that happened, I'd be like, you know, get fucked, <laughs> like. If 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 you didn't want to be bored, you shouldn't have blown through the content in, in you know the first month it was out. There's a whole goddamn expansion to play in, and you're just knocking out the top bosses and yelling, "Give me more!" <laughs> yeah, for sure. I agree. I mean, that's how I want to play a game. All right. So, yeah. uh, Rainick, why 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 uh p99 instead of the live servers or the tlp servers even uh you know i actually it's funny i i logged into my old uh my 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 original 
Ranger on Bristlebane. I think I said he was 65, same name, Rainick. Uh, at one point uh, during the time when I found P99, and I was like, I don't know, man. There's like a million expansions now, and there's a map. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just seemed they've made, they just tried to be something they weren't. They tried to compete with WoW or whatever, and it just it wasn't my speed. And so I just was like, all right, well, I actually ended up. <laughs> this is people said it was stupid. Yeah, sure, it was stupid. I was I logged into that character, and he was camped in I don't know why, but in high hold at one point and i just ran him in the kithic core and let him die and left him there <laughs> <laughs> with epics you know both epics and all that whatever it's just, it's, i don't know so i just um like i said when i found the predecessor of this guild it was what really attracted me to the game the play style and that's what we wanted to carry on with what we're doing here in all link sign mm -hmm. and and say there's someone watching or listening and they're on the fence about uh you know, whether or not, like, maybe ALS is the guild for me, maybe it's not. Maybe P99 is the server for me, maybe it's not. What would you say to people who are on the fence with those type of things? Well, if what you're looking for is, a cha you know, is challenging content throughout the, your leveling experience with a character, then I would say not only is P99 the server to go to, but um, our guild is going to give you that experience because you're going to have uh, plenty of... Um, not only content to explore with, but a lot of guild members to do it with. And um, people keep coming over that are just, like you said, they're, they're not they're not having fun with just, you know, uh, grinding or power leveling to the top or whatever and missing all the, the content. And it's all about the content. Okay. Uh, Challenge. I'm going to burrito this one's at you, but Rainick, it's coming to you right afterwards. So get your answer can I ask ready. You, can, can I do a chat question you real quick? absolutely can. Okay, cool. Uh, at Tupacashekeker, good job. Uh, says, I'm, I'm the leader of Dialport. Uh, what does everybody think? I I just want to say nobody fucking cares. <laughs> nobody even thinks about you, dog. I mean, they might think about him when they need a port. We don't. <laughs> you guys don't. I know I mean, Burrito's look, look, been blacklisted look, look, by some dial of porters. Let me, let me let me retract that. We we, we have no problem with, with dial of porters. We just our charter doesn't allow us to send tells to porters at all outside the zone you're in. Really, you can only OOC anyway. And if it happens to be a dial of port druid or a wizard, you know we uh, no problem. We got no problem with that. And they've always been nice and they've always been very friendly. And we encourage, you know, we, we do donate to those for those services, you know, donate for it. But again, you can't go outside the zone to, to look for it. You can't look for it in the zone you're at. So if you happen to be in the over there, then great. You're in luck. <laughs> but if you're in the hole, yeah, you're pretty screwed. So I can send you. Real... Yeah, exactly. yeah, I was going to say, I could send you as a good question and I'm about to miss it. But how do you, how do you attract new members who play a class where the mechanics revolve around an item that's no longer available to your people, like how a Shadow Knight or Necro would see a pre-nerf circlet of shadow as a must-have item for that class? I would say look at the players we have that don't believe that to be the case. Um, we've got two high-level Shadow Knights that don't seem to have a problem. We have... Kaikusai and another couple other Meleks and other high level, you know, 55 plus. I'm sure they would love to have it, but they don't need it. They're still playing the game. I mean, I don't think there's a button when you log in that says, Do you have a pre nerf circle of shadows to play? Or otherwise, you don't, you're not allowed to. <laughs> I mean, certainly, with there is some merit to the question, of course. You know, there's, there's items that are very useful like that, but, you know, that's what we make up for it with our gameplay and our collaboration. Well, I mean, Creativity. Burrito, you have a shadow. Your your ALS character is a Shadow Knight, isn't it? Yes. And so, as per their rules, you def you know you're not going to have a COS. Do you care? Does it bother you? Do you wish uh, no. you could? I have, I have like a, a super fucking twinked out necromancer on the same server that I could just play if I want to do that. Like, yep. It it doesn't it doesn't that. That's the one thing is like you don't have to play this way and people like pick reasons why they won't do it like oh i'm not gonna do it because yeah you'll never never have a circular shadow in this guild 
But uh, yeah, just don't do it. Yeah, well, and you know the other part of that was the elder whole whole grish elder beads. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. It is what it is, man. There's ways around things. We've that's what we've done in ALS. Is there's a lot of ways, a lot of ways to skin the cat, the proverbial cat. So, um, we do we seem to do just fine. Yeah, we're gonna have challenges, but that's part of the reason why we play it is to play it. So there's there's a challenge, there's a reason to play it, not just to, you know, show off your pixels. I think uh, about the time I started checking out on like. MMOs was when World of Warcraft would have like a new update and then they'd be like, okay, this is the spec you have to pick for this class. Like, this is how you have to do fucking everything. And, and the truth is you don't you don't have to play the games that way. You don't have to do what you guys think is the best way to do it. Right. I hear you. Um, there's a question from Nitsud, and I'm guessing this is at Rainick. But uh, once you guys get to the point of raiding more, more bigger things, more bigger. Once you get to the point of doing bigger things, where, how does your guild charter feel about the use of like mage cough bots? Like, are you guys against bots? Are you for bots? Well, we don't share accounts and account information um we we have that in our charter um uh, it's just you know that's a recent actually recent clarification really is that we you know the challenge and the experiences are earned by the human behind the player behind the tune so you know i'm not logging into burritos shadow knight and leveling him five levels and he comes back and he's like oh whoa what's your where's the accomplishment in that uh we have no problem if you want to go make a, a Koth mage, we can we have some Koth mages, and we've got players that have other mages in the guild. So if it's and, created for that purpose as like a guild bot character, and it's not actually somebody's mage, that would be the difference, and then it would be fine. We would not. No, well, it would have to be their own character. They wanted to level up. I think he's no saying... one else is doing it. Yeah, we don't do bots. If you mean by like shared characters, is that what you mean? Because I'm not yeah, even sure. Like just like a guild whore that you know, I don't even, doesn't yeah, actually no, belong see, to anyone. Yeah, even, it's just that, that's. That's funny. That doesn't even like resonate with me because we don't have any. <laughs> you know, I'm like a bot. I'm like I get what a cleric bot is, and like I, I understand that. No, no, <laughs> no. All right. You know, play a mage, get a mage. We've got two or three cough mages actually, and they're their own mages, and they have their own. One of them's got a cleric, and I think the other ones. I'm trying to remember there, but they all have, you know. We'll go out and get you cough if you level a mage up. We'll go out and get it together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we'll, you, you'll log in and cough us all. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then this this Brian is bun character person in chat had a decent question. What about people who want to? Because I've actually seen people do this. I know uh, 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 Easy Deasy who hangs out in Burrito Stream a lot. He recently, or maybe a few months ago now, he de-leveled his character like all the way down to six or some shit. Would someone like that be able to join your guild? Not if we know they've done it. You know, if if they come to us as a 15, we don't know any better. I mean, we have the proof, and we'll invite you, and you live by the rules. Uh, but if you're going to come at us and tell us you have de-leveled, then we're going to like, nope, we'll just roll a new tune. Some dude... Some dude with raid gear is going to get noticed eventually, and he's going to get kicked out. Yep. The other thing that people don't think about is stuff like trade skills or spells you quests you've you've uh, you've completed on a higher level player tune, Mm -hmm. and you've deleveled just because you want to get into the guild. Um, Those things we can't, you know, we can't screen for. So you may come in naked, but we won't know that you've got you know two fifty jewelry crafting or whatever. yeah, you know, again, it's an honor system. If you want to do that, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, just roll a new tune. I would. That's that's exactly what I tell people. I would never. I think de leveling your character is the stupidest thing you could do, and it's like slapping yourself in the face. It's like you know what? I, I don't respect my own time at all. F it. I want to say, yes, I would have done it. And like you brought up Easy Deasy, uh, when he streamed it. He named his title New Game Plus, and I thought that was fucking funny. I thought New Game Plus was pretty funny. <laughs> but I mean, yes, I wouldn't do it myself. I get it, but why wouldn't you just start a new character? 
yeah, if you're going all the way down to 15, you might as well just start new. I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. We have the 15 cap for that other reason, too. If we had a 30 cap, for example, it would be a lot more enticing to de-level to 30. Sure. But if you de-level to 15, I mean, you might as well just start a new character. It doesn't take you very long to get there. We've got a lot of players in those level ranges. There's groups all the time. You know, people finding new, you know, just exploring content together and leveling while they're doing it. Do you have a minimum level? Nope. So 1 to 15, you can add. Zero. Yep. Fresh out the womb is fine with us. I think we we prefer it. We actually prefer it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we prefer you roll a brand new tune. You know, I mean, if you happen to have a 14 and it's, you know, passes inspection, great. Um, But yeah prefer you, you you roll a new tune if you want if you want to come in i like it i like it uh gotta ask favorite zone of of classic tavelius what is it each of you i don't care who goes first uh, i like the hole the hole is a great zone okay Ooh. that was that was my home back on live server for a long time this dude's getting it in the hole <laughs> <laughs> Uh, BT, do you have a zone that you, uh... For sure, and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm saying. Is say. it the, the, a certain tower? A frozen shadow? A tower yeah, of frozen a shit. That's a great zone. Yeah, RC, RZ Zabber, yeah, Siren's Grotto, great zone. A lot of, another underused Oh, I hate zone. Siren's Grotto. That's why we like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like Tower of Frozen Shadow because it's, it's a dungeon crawl, essentially. It's the yep. same reason yeah. I like Befallen a lot when I was a little nooblet back in the day. Um, I thought it was great that EQ tried to start doing things like that. I wish they would have done more things like that. Um, I know all of LDON pretty much was that way, but by that time I was so checked out. And it was instanced, which bothered me. But I think Tower of Frozen Shadow is a great zone because it it's a crawl. Yeah, we have Tower of Frozen Shadow, I've had like the most fun on the server dungeon crawling that, like starting at the first floor with a group and then like every couple days getting like another key to the next floor. And I did it with my homies, like Ak and Senu. Uh, like I love that. It was it was the best times. Just rolling yeah. with your homies. You know what's funny is that you like five months ago. Rito, you would have had a. I mean, you've gone to Tower of Frozen Shadow lately, but you've got. We had a blast because we've had like two groups. We'd go up there and go up and down, and just to get stuff like the Embalmer Skinny Knife, you know, like Ooh, yeah. Ain't No Things got one of those. I think um, Naro. There's a few of those in Guild, uh, just for that purpose. Or Tesserina's Whip, or however you pronounce his name. You know, great proc for an aggro weapon. Uh, we got guys that just, you know, were trying to farm that place, and it was a blast. Don't worry, I call her Tesserina too. Is that, yeah, you guys Serena. are wrong as fuck. Your face is wrong. How about that? Are you trying to ogre <laughs> me right now, dog? I'll ogre the shit out of you. I'll ogre you all night long. <laughs> uh, do you have what? Do you have like a a good like holy shit story, like something where everything was just going to hell and and then you pulled it off, or um, you know, just something well, that really I, made I, you go holy shit. I know that Golem we just got recently got was one of those moments, but I wasn't there, so I'd love if any one of our, if my guild members were in chat, would summarize it. But yeah, I mean it was that was dicey. I know that um, a lot of I think everybody died, and I think they still managed to loot it. I don't know what happened, but it was it was pretty crazy. I mean we've you know we've had our moments. Um, we've had some some moments down in Dragon Necropolis, and, you know trying to get down to Vile Fang and other places like that. But it's hard to pick one out of. You know, one tree out of the forest, so to speak. But, what about um, you, BT? Do you have something? Something that just made you stop and go, "Holy shit!" Afterwards. Uh, like in what context is this within this guild? Uh, it doesn't matter. It could be in the guild or just EQ in general. Uh, definitely in the guild. Already talked about it a bunch of times. Uh, the fucking bold master. When I yeah. sold that, it was dope as fuck because it actually killed me earlier, like an hour before that. I lost to it. Was yeah, actually, sure, man. I got to share that moment with you. I was uh, watching your stream when you pulled that one off. And yeah, he, I mean, he divided me I've got... twice at the end. It yeah, that was cool, the man. Out of me. That was so cool. I mean, I've had I've like individual moments for myself because I think uh, Ash and Dan, who's known on and our one of our our highest level bards, I think he is our highest level bard. Um, 
mentioned that I don't raid a lot. Just, you know, I'm a Pacific time guy and it's hard for me to get out weeknights. I'm happy to be out tonight, which is great. But I've did a lot of stuff solo that, you know, like, oh, I don't know, factioning for the OT hammer. And that's a ridiculous grind. I think I did 1600 raid turn-ins to get my hammer on a human ranger. Um, getting a looping dagger after like 175 Dralvar captain soloed. Um, in IVS armor, <laughs> I mean, getting a swarm collar out of the solo out of there as well, pulling it from, um, you know, harmonying my way back to get him and pull him out to the front, stuff like that was just always cool. I mean, that's to me. I mean, that's the time I was able to play. Right. And um, even though yeah. we all know PST people don't have souls. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's because we live in. At least I live in California. I can vouch for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, individuals. A lot of individual things that. You know, I, I'm more impressed with just when the guild can get together and I can watch what they're doing if I can't even be there. Uh, like like that, like I said, the fear of breaking or even going up to hate and, uh, you know, taking out, I think we had three or, f I don't know, five or six mini bosses a couple weeks ago. We actually were able to get up there and win, you know, get to, the, get to those mobs first, which was really cool. I just got an email from Blizzard making me aware of the next Hearthstone expansion. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask you, with with the way your guild is, like, obviously, as I've said a hundred times already tonight, lots of hurdles and lots of challenges, and most of them are self-imposed. P99 is probably the only EverQuest server with a population that does not have instances or rotations. Mm -hmm. Do you like that aspect of P99? Do you, th do you wish it wasn't that way? How do, how do you, where do you stand on that? Personally, I, I like the challenge. I mean, we've had situations where we've got into some of our own, you know, butted heads with other things. That whole player server agreement was great. And it's constant, but then once you have things scheduled like that, you think, oh, that's mine. And if it doesn't go your way, you know, somebody else can beat you to it still because they're not part of that agreement. It kind of, it's kind of your own fault for getting into it. it seems like. I mean, I was mad at the time and stuff, but um, I don't know. I like the challenge. I think we. I think our guys like the challenge. They'd rather not have instance. I mean, it takes the, it, part of the challenge is the social aspect. Part of the social aspect is competing against other guilds. And so, you take that out. You take that out of it. This, you know, you're just playing. You might as well play. Uh, you know, single player game on your Xbox. Hmm. It's basically Skyrim. Yeah. Exactly. And I just can't stick around for that stuff anymore. I mean, it's just. You know, it's not. The, Part of the game I like is this social aspect, and uh, competition is a good thing. Uh, so speaking of the social aspect, we have a very, very colorful community here on P99. Have they been good to you? Have you do you hate them? Like how, how how is that social aspect in your opinion? How's the community in your opinion as a whole outside of ALS? No, I've got no hate for anybody, man. It's good people. You know, there's definitely, we, everybody's got their own quirks, you know, me included. And, um, you know, it's, there's been a lot of love to go around, to be honest with you, especially lately um, from the other guilds on the server. So I've got no hard feelings against anybody. I think that um, we're all investing our time into this game. And I've said it before to other my members as well. It's like, look, my time playing a game is just as valuable as my time you know, with my family, with my work, it's, I only have 24 hours a day. And, sure. um, there's a lot of people know. that like to write it off again, just something I think we were talking a little bit off stream about, but a lot of people just like to write it off as like, Oh, you're just playing a game, blah, blah, blah. But if it's mm -hmm. your hobby, it's your hobby. And it shouldn't really matter if you're, if you're, you know, going to play football at the park or if you're going out hunting or if you're playing a game, right. or whatever you choose to do as your hobby, um, you know, people, if people don't like yeah. it, they can eat a dick. I agree. I've uh, hung out with both you guys while you're doing your P99 thing. And, uh, what? I don't hang out with you. Well, we talk kind of sometimes. We don't even talk. I don't even know Somebody who you are. Me something. <laughs> but it seems like you're way busier that you deserve to be. People have no idea how fucking busy I am. <laughs> they and think I exist to, to serve feel, them. And it's like, hey, uh, do, do fucking petition. Or like, 
Well, you see like it in today, your stream chat Reddit all the time. Had to go, Reddit had to go like AFK like 15 times today because people need invites or some kind of like guild leader, guild leader stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, I, I chill. I'm just going to chill as a member and play the fucking game. I mean, you're pretty chilled for the most part with everything. I mean, you're a little rough around the edges. You're definitely uh, colorful with a lot of things. And uh, I think a lot of people just don't like it for, for a variety of reasons. Either it makes them uncomfortable or they're easily offended or Too much whatever. Truth. Too much truth. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I think you're pretty laid back. I think you're pretty relaxed. Um, we all have our moments and our, our days, but I mean, part of the reason I like hanging out in your stream is cause I can just hang out in your stream. You know, I can relax. Yeah, you don't yeah. bug me about dumb shit. And, and, and it's nice. It's nice to be able to just relax. And, you know, I love this game. I, I am very fond of the EverQuest and sometimes I just want to watch an EverQuest stream and not be GM Sirkin and just, you know, chill out and 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 wind down at the end of a night. Yeah, um, I end up bitching in my chat a bunch about that. <laughs> but, I uh, hear it. <laughs> you should be able to just chill sometimes, you know? People think anytime I'm not sleeping, I'm just always GM Sirkin. And so they hit me up. If they see me watching a Twitch, they'll hit me up and start bugging me about dumb shit. And it's like, leave me alone. I just want to watch this dude stream EverQuest. I'm watching a dude who I think is relaxed and chilled just playing a game that I very much enjoy. And I'm trying to relax. Leave me alone. And it's hard. Can I say something uh, real quick? Uh, how's everybody's... How's everybody's allergies doing? Oh man, I haven't had allergy problems in like three weeks now. And also, uh, shot time you butt sniffers. <laughs> yeah, man, the flu thing and out whatever's been running around my house, so it's it's trying. I'm trying. I'm hoping it leaves soon. It keeps getting recycled. Oh, I'm totally. hoping it comes back to my home. So you want, you want people sick? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one way to say it, I guess. Um, so, Rainick, and I guess Burrito too, but I'm going to start with Rainick. Um, if there was something that it, you could you could put in the ears of the Rogan Nilbog server management types about P99, what, what would it be? Well, I think the purpose of, you know, the purpose of our guild was to try to recreate a new server. Um... That's kind of what it was. And so that'd be the question is, is there, are there plans for a new server? Um, if there are, would there be an, an ETA on that? I mean, I don't really have any complaints. I don't have any other demands or suggestions. We just do our thing, play by whatever we've got. And, um, you know, those around us that are giving us, lending us their experience, we learn from. But yeah, I guess a new server. Yes, there are plans. Cool. No, there's not an ETA. That's cool. what, that's what I can tell know. you. There's yep. definitely plans. Sure. It's definitely been talked about. Um, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, so I'm not. I'm just gonna say yes. There are plans, and kind of uh, leave it at that. Is it uh, going to have like a a soul and sick rule set? Um, see, that would get into me discussing whether or not the next server is gonna be a PvP server or a blue server. And so I don't I don't know what I'm allowed to say on that. So again, I gotta just say, I I can't tell you. I don't know. I think uh, as a part of the community, I think the community as a whole is interested in another PvP server. I I believe that. Like <laughs> I believe most there's a people... lot of people on Red that want a new PvP server, but most blue people, I think unless they came from red or came from PVP, no. they don't want anything to do with it. Everybody wants one. You should <laughs> do it. Everyone wants it. Just P99, Sullen Zek, open it up. Have you seen how popular that red server is? Like, shit. <laughs> oh, I see. They generate just as much petitions as the blue server. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> um, all right, chat room, speed round. If you have questions, there's a real good chance I missed it because I feel like I only asked three of them. Um, so throw them in there again if, if it was an actual question and you would like an answer for it. Uh, Ray, uh, Nick, I or... think... Oh, go ahead. I think I covered all of, like, Tupica Shacker's questions. He got two tonight, so don't, like, answer any of his. Okay. <laughs> other than that, yeah, hit, hit them questions up. Uh, yes, Conscript. I definitely have a LinkedIn profile where my job title is GM. That That is definitely a thing. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. So I was going to say also, you... do either of you have any questions for me since I've just been running my mouth with questions for the last bit? How tall are you, Sirkin? Oh, man, I'm like four foot eleven and 328 pounds. He's so fat. So fat, people. People you don't hear... know what it's like to have to clean all of that either. Like, I have to get down in, in between that those rolls to, like, get it all gunk free. Yeah. Like so what's every, the... I got, a, I got a follow-up question. What's the oldest pizza slice you found in those folds? Oh, pizza doesn't last that long around me, buddy. <laughs> you can sift that shit out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> food doesn't... I, I destroy food instantly. Especially pizza. That's that's probably my best as favorite as food. So mm. Red Delicious asked, when am I firing Artelius? Um, Artelius is probably our highest level paladin. And he happens to be one of the luckiest bastards around. Uh, he's won the scout role two, uh, twice in a row. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I guess we can get another paladin to knock him off his pedestal. We'll get rid of him. Nice, nice. Uh, Easy DZ Chrono Trigger is an amazing game. Favorite team on Sullenzek. There's no such thing. Sullenzek is trash. Uh, do, 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 do. How do you put up with nerds bugging the shit out of you for as long as you had? For a long time, it was drugs. Now I don't know. Uh, best Sour Patch Kid flavor is watermelon. How much weight have you gained back? All of it. How often do you have to replace your chair? I don't. I just hire Asian people and I sit on them and I replace as needed. Uh, did, 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 have you guys thought about releasing unmoderated server just to watch the lols? No. Bloobies need to taste blood? That's not a question. When is Chardock 2.0? Oh, shit. I know the answer. Oh, no, I don't. Um, um, <laughs> oh, let's shit. just say, uh, server definitely needs a patch. Um, oh. how's the Chicago Zoo? If we're counting Brookfield, I guess that's not technically in Chicago. I mean, it's all right. It's a zoo in the middle of a city. It is what it is. Boom. Knocked out the speed round. You fucking really did it. I did it. That's how we do. There's a bunch of answers. There's a bunch of answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, what else? What else? Have you infiltrated the top floor of the P99 office building? Are they still building Skynet up there? So I was snooping around up there. Uh, Rogan had left his key card in the cafeteria, and I swiped it. And then he came around and asking for it, and I lied to him. And I was like, oh, I didn't see it. And I waited for him to leave. I hid under my desk, and then I rolled out from under after he left. I tried to get upstairs. What I did not know is there's a retina scan up at the top thing. The elevator door won't even open. So I got to find a way to get past that, or I got to pop someone's eye out without them realizing I popped their eye out to get in. Uh, so I, I don't, I, I can't give you the update on the, the status of that. I'm sorry, I mind a muck. Uh, Landris, I know, I know. Because you know what's going to happen. It's going to, when it happens, we're going to get shit tons of petitions. And, and I imagine there's things that are going to have to be tweaked and fixed by devs. It's going to be a lot of work. It would, it would be good. It's much needed. It's much needed. Uh, Conscript says, have you, Rogan, the rest of the devs ever met up in real life? Are you guys friends or just online? Um, I've met up with Rogan a couple times. He's the only staff member I've met up with. Um, he's good people. He's good people in real life. He's, he's fun to chit-chat with. And as for friends in real life, I mean, we don't play EQ together, so it is what it is. I mean, we're... We're pals. I'd say we're all pals. We do you shoot think the people shit. do that on the server a bunch? Like, meet up in real life? 
Yes. How many people in the chat? Have oh, done dude, that? I've heard so many stories over the last six years. It would blow your mind. I I won't tell them on stream, but maybe one time while we're not talking or being pals off stream, I will not I tell you those met, stories. I met Murray online, and I met him in EverQuest. Not online. I met him in real life. Huh. Which dev is my favorite? I love all the devs. They do different things. Um, I think Haynar's attitude is probably my favorite just because Haynar gives no shits about anything. Like, he does his thing, and if people want to cry and bitch and complain, I, I envy how little shits he gives. I wish I could be that way sometimes. Um, can we get a fuckload of fake earthquakes? <laughs> Oh my god, that would be so good if there was a fake earthquake on April 1st. I would love that. Um, do, 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 I don't know if we have a yellow submarine here. And da, 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 do you think, don't, don't you think Red 99 was never given a fair shake given the amount of RMT done by server GMs, non-class code, and blah, 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 blah. I think everything you just said is wrong. Uh, what are the requirements to join the dev team? <laughs> Shoot no blog a message, because I have no idea. Uh, Dragon, you're right. I actually quit playing CSGO altogether because of Rogan. Uh, Talon, can we be friends? Yes, we can be BFFs for life. Talon's amazing, actually. You guys don't know because he's quiet and he's a good person. But Talon's awesome. He's done all kinds of things for people on the server and they have no idea that he's the person responsible for it. But he is. And you guys really should love the shit out of him. Um... Do, 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 do. Why is Chicago pizza the best? Um, I believe it's the water. I honestly believe it's the water that is used in the dough. And if you want to get into which Chicago pizza is the best, it's Lou Malnati's by a long shot. It's not even close. Um, do, 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 do. Favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni all day. Do, do, do. How would you like to see the raid scene play out? These suspensions seem like a band-aid to a bigger problem. I would like guilds to self-police themselves. Unfortunately, I don't know if guild leaders have the backbone required to do that because it might mean punishing very active members. It might mean kicking very active members out of the guild to make an example out of them. And unfortunately, to keep the machine running, sometimes you have to do uh, things that that are the opposite of self-policing. Um, can, can I say something real quick? Sure. Do to do to do. <laughs> I love it. Uh, da, 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 da. I just did it again. God damn it! God damn it! Uh, Telling made the sky kind of did with Chicago Illuminati's. Da, da, da. New York is better. Someone can ban Nitsuit if they want for saying that. And Barry Dacker as well. Oh, Chicago is. See, I don't even know if we have the best lasagna to be honest with you. But I mean. I don't want a bunch of shit on cardboard. Don't get me wrong. I, I, thin crust pizza has its place. But, and if Lou Malnati's made thin crust pizza, then that would be the, oh, guys, I was joking. Don't actually ban Nitsud. That was a joke. Unban him. Um, Lou Malnati's is nice. really good. <laughs> and if they made thin crust pizza the way, with the same ingredients and the same way they make their, their deep dish pizza then that would be the best pizza in Chicago. It's really whatever Lou Malnati's does, that's the best. Um, do, 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 do. How long do you think it takes a giraffe to throw up? Oh, man, that's actually a really good question. Burrito, how long do you think it takes a giraffe to throw up? Uh, 14 feet. That's how long it takes 14 feet for a giraffe to throw up. <laughs> Uh, why not root NTOV mobs? Oh, Barry Dacker, that—that that is a question, sir. Uh, the let's just say the staff is not. Uh, the staff is divided on that. I guess you could say. Uh, da, 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 do you realize you would probably be an affiliate or partner if you actually streamed on a regular basis for one week? Then we could sub. <laughs> do you realize that if I took any money whatsoever for streaming, that people would automatically? Just lump that in with all the other stupid bullshit accusations they already make against me. They'd be like, oh no, history. 
Circuit Stream is just a big RMT front where people give him donations for favoritism and bias. I saw someone give him a hundred bits and then the next week his guild killed Bulak and all the things. Somebody get him please. He's the boogeyman and I can't sleep at night as long as Circuit has a big stick in his hand. Get him. I can't do that. The amount of bullshit crazy shit I would have to deal with on top of the fucking crazy bullshit accusations people already make about me. I would end up getting big fat person shoes and, and tying the shoelaces together and wrapping them around that ceiling fan up there and just jumping off a bar stool. Uh, do, 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 do. Why not embrace that angle and just be a corrupt asshole? Because here's the thing. I've been a non-corrupt asshole around here for six years. And if I screw it up now, people are going to be like, see, I always knew he was corrupt. He's been corrupt the whole time. I was telling you guys, you just didn't listen to me. And now the proof's in the pudding. It's right there in your face. What do you guys say about that? <clears throat> so it's not worth it to me. Circuit, you're super fucking entertaining, Doug. Number one, P. Day Night Streamer. Mm, I don't know. I think it's the first time I've streamed this year. I don't, I don't think you could even call me a streamer at this point. I'm just some asshole who gets on the internet and makes weird sounds with my mouth hole. Oh, uh, go fuck yourself. That's why I love you. The proof is in the pudding. You said it yourself. <laughs> uh, on what stop do you start getting nervous on the L? The red line. <laughs> Once I get on the red line from, like, Clark and Lake and south of that, it's... It's, you know, I make sure I know where my phone is, my wallet is, I'm scanning the train. I don't fuck around with the red line. I live right by the blue line. I won't tell you which stop, but I live like three blocks from the blue line. Um, the, the brown line is like, like my brother from another mother. And, uh, do, 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 is that do. a real thing? Brown line sounds like a fucking joke. No, that's, that's real. That's legit. It starts at Lawrence <laughs> Avenue. It goes all the way south. I believe you. All right. I used to have to catch the blue line to, uh, well, I'm not going to say, but you get on the brown line at Lawrence. That's where it starts. <laughs> I was like, wait, I shouldn't tell people. I realized my story would Lawrence. pinpoint my house. Um, Who the fuck is Lawrence and why is there a brown line circuit? Lawrence Avenue this. is a street. There's a real shitty strip club on it. <laughs> Um, I believe that's right around Lawrence and Pulaski, and then you can catch the brown line at Lawrence and Kimball. Uh, Barry Dacker wants to know who is my favorite and least favorite guild. Well, my new favorite guild is ALS. My next favorite guild will whoever be on stream next time, and I don't have a least oh, yeah. favorite guild. Uh, do to do what was the new worst? favorite guild? Uh, shouldn't have changed because Dial Dad. Addison. Uh. Addison. What are you talking about? Addison for what? The brown line at Addison. Does the brown line even stop at Addison? I know the red line stops there at Wrigley Field, and the blue line has a stop right by 9094. I don't even know if the brown line has... I know there's an Irving Park stop right at Damon. I don't even know if there's an Addison stop. I've never used it. I know the brown line has like a Polina stop at Lincoln and Belmont. Fuck you. How about that? Um, Ever drink Green Line Pale Ale? No, I've never been on the Green Line either, I don't think. That goes out to like BFE. Uh, when you look out over Lake Michigan, is there a curve on the horizon? Nope, flat earth. Uh, do, 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 go Cubs, go. Fuck the Cubs. I used to be a Cubs fan. And you know what they did? They gave you just enough hope to, to make you think they were going to do a thing. And then they then they shit on your dreams. And they ruined yeah. your camping trips. You'd be sitting there with your buddy. And you'd be huddled around the car. Because that was the only electricity. And you'd want to hear the game. And then you'd be all sad. And just mope back over to the fire with your beer. Like, oh yeah, they lost. You're right. And then oh, when they won the World Series, I didn't even care. The whole time, I thought they were going to like just lose. Because I'm like, no, they're not going to do it. Don't get excited. And then they win the World Series, and I was like, you know what? I don't even fucking care. It, it, they took too long. I'm out. Uh, do, 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 do. If I had a guild, what Kate, would his man. name be? I'm with Kate on Go Dodgers or Go Doyers. Doyers, <laughs> Doyers, Doyers. Oh, shit. Go Dodgers. I like the Cincinnati Clams. That's not a thing. I fucking... 
dude, you don't even watch baseball. I so. don't, because baseball's stupid. It's fun to go to a baseball game. Don't get me wrong. Going to a baseball game can be a great time. You get beers. You get overpriced hot dogs. You get to yell and scream at other drunk people. That's fun. Sitting at your house watching a baseball game is arguably one of the most boringest things I could do with my time. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, it's 30 days. Cincinnati clams. I don't like clams. I don't like Cincinnati. Uh, is 30 day suspensions the max or will it continue to grow? I mean, I imagine they're just going to continue to grow. Hopefully guilds can get their shit together, work on their mentality or their mindset or whatever. Maybe realize that it's not evil boogeyman circling picking on them and that maybe their tactics aren't as, as elite as they think they are. Maybe those tactics that can work with two guilds in the zone aren't going to fly with five to seven guilds in the zone uh, and and start say, adjusting. I want to say give them a 40-day. I mean, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Uh, Bonkers wants to know what server I played on live. I played on Valen Zek. Rainick, what server did you play on live? Bristlebane. Burrito, what server did you play on live? Uh, fuck, what was that server where you played on? Solid Zek. Fuck you. That's the one. Get fucked. Eat a whole whole bag of dicks. Eat all the dicks. Uh, 30 Soul day was silly one. though. We not blaming you. You might not be, but you you are not. You are not. Uh, there's another school of thought which very much blames me. They play the victim card instead of ever ever looking inward. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I'm gonna make mistakes. Sometimes I'm just gonna get calls wrong. But here's the thing: when your guild's been suspended, I don't know, 12, 13 times. Maybe you should just stop for five seconds and be like, maybe we should change something. And that's not just directed at you, Barry Dacker, because there are there are two guilds on the server currently that have a shit ton of suspensions under their belt. And I think both of the top end guilds need to take a look inward before they just point the finger and be like, oh, Sarkin's just throwing a bone to the casuals, even though he's always been against rotations and told casuals to get good or get out. He's definitely just helping them. Uh, do you chuckle when you see how... <laughs> yes, Conscript. I absolutely do. I try not to do it publicly, but... Uh... <laughs> yes. Uh, what do I think about Portillo's? I like Portillo's. The problem is, if you go there around lunchtime, the line, and I don't care which Portillo's you go to, the line is literally out the door. And I'm not going to stand in that line for a hot dog when I can go to Duke's over on Elston and Central and get arguably the greatest Italian beef sandwich that was ever created. If I want a hot dog or burger or cheese fries, I can get that too. But <clears throat> Duke's, Elston and Central, Italian beef sandwich, that needs to be on all of your bucket lists. If if a certain somebody, a certain HR manager for dial dad actually comes to Chicago in April and he wants to hook up, me and him are going to Dukes. Yeah, Barry Decker, I know. I've had this argument. I've got a lot of friends in your guild. And uh, here's the thing. It, <laughs> you didn't get 30 days for, like, this isn't the first time you guys have been hit with something. I mean, it's not an isolated event. It's, it's habitual rule breaking, and it's a pattern of behavior. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm so happy you're talking. Oh, blah. We want to follow the rules, but it's hard when they're so great. They're not that great. Stop it's trying to dog. circumvent them. What, buddy? Can you look down at me real quick? I want to show off my uh, new sword. Can I look down at you? Oh. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is that is the coolest sword graphic I've ever seen. It's fucking unique. That's That's as unique as they come. Uh, I don't Baja Blast Off. Burrito, do you Baja Blast Off? I've uh, been to know to Baja Blast Off in a few old men. <laughs> All right, apparently, that's not what I thought it was then. Uh, Only if they have kids, though. It's nothing weird. Yeah, uh, cheese fries, Italian beef sandwiches. We're going to do it right. Chicago food visit. Words to live by. Do, 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 do. Reinstate FTE races. Uh, problem with FTE races is that everyone was fucking cheating and I couldn't prove it. 
And so eventually I had to just get rid of them because I couldn't enforce the rules on it. And it was a goddamn joke of a system how badly it was being abused. Uh, how about issuing harsh individual suspension versus guild actions? Eh, I don't like that because you always have one asshole that's willing to take one for the team. And so you punish the whole team. Uh, and then hopefully people will be like, hey, stop doing stupid shit because you're getting me suspended too with your stupid shit. That's, that's the mentality there. And I think, I think it's better. I think, uh, I mean, I don't know how long you've been around, but suspensions weren't always like this. It used to be much, much, much smaller and people didn't take them seriously. Now for the first time, people are actually taking them seriously. I hate suspending guilds for 30 days. That's insane to me. But the fact that guilds are actually taking suspension seriously now, I think that's I think that's great. Um, I just wish it didn't have to come to this because, believe it or not, I don't like feeling like a giant asshole. And I do feel like a giant asshole when I'm suspending, you know, 95% innocent people for the actions of a few dummies. And sometimes accidentals, they're accidents. But then we get into trying to prove intent, and that's a whole shitstorm I don't want to get into. Uh, do, 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 do. Would you consider disbanding guilds after a certain amount of suspensions? Quite possibly, um, but it would have to go farther than that. I mean, you'd have to disband the guild. You'd probably have to ban the leaders, suspend the officers, make it so none of them could ever lead a guild in the future, or have any kind of leadership role. So even if they weren't guild leader in name or or tagged in game as guild leader if i had proof from my little birds like team speak recordings of people calling shots that shouldn't be calling shots pow uh do to do, do give us one little sentence fragment of the future direction plans for project 1999 i will gladly do that conscript um the future plans of project 1999 will be delivered to you by rogan or nilbog when they're ready to do so do to do to do, do. In your face! In your face! Would you ever publish... Wait, what? How Plaid is sold through the back door resulting in account violation? How much money maybe people... I mean, shit, there's RMT websites. You can go find out how much Plat is being sold for and then go read all of the stupid threads of people trying to sell it and then do math. Uh, Can you shed some light on the policy daybreak put in place with regards to... What P99 is allowed, not allowed to do. Uh, we're not allowed to make money. We're not allowed to distribute their property. The end. Do, 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 do. Be nice to gnomes. Gnomes are the greatest thing Norath has ever seen. Do, 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 do. Is there ever a chance of having an account revamp that only allows each person to have one account to help combat players mitigate an account suspension by banning one character or something similar? We have done blanket suspensions. Uh, if someone is a habitual rule breaker, or they break a rule on a throwaway account, we absolutely have in the past suspended all of a person's accounts for actions taken on one account. Uh, da, 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 we have given up plenty of mobs. Like, Yeah, I know, you've given up trips. Good job. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Rain. Have you... um, oh, Roxy. Roxy wants to know if you've ever made s'mores, Rainick. As in the s'mores, like confection, <laughs> or uh, graham crackers? In, uh, yes, of course. Yeah, or I, is, I, there, is there another uh, definition of a I s'more? I don't know. I don't know if that's some secret hipster lingo. I don't know. I'm pretty sure yes. she just means s'more. She's a sweet woman. You don't know her. You don't know her at all. Yes, we love s'mores. <laughs> Kids love s'mores. That's for sure. We like going camping and stuff. So they'll like s'mores. Yeah, Keister. Would you guys say you were s'mores enthusiasts? I wouldn't go that far. No, I could take them or leave them. Yeah, for sure. We could take them or leave them, Roxy. Dude, at some point, they just take the bag of marshmallows and start shoving them in their mouths. It's all good. Nobog has actually shown me um, after the fact. Sorry, I'm eating another cookie. But he does his rolls. He jots down the day and time. And then he makes it happen when it's supposed to happen. Um, but yeah, I can 100% guarantee you they are random. Do, do, do. 
Boom! I think we're done. I think we got them all. You handled it like a professional. That was me giving myself a round of applause. Number one streamer, P99, right there. You guys just seen it happen. Is it because of the speed round? Yeah. You speed <laughs> rounded the fuck out of it. Oh, semi Sosa. I can't eat Doritos anymore. I ruined them. I used to use Doritos to mask the taste of something else that I think is disgusting, but needed to eat on like a Friday or Saturday night to have a good time. And, um, and so I'd put them in between Doritos. And now when I smell or eat Doritos, all I think about is that other shit. And it's all I taste and I hate it. It makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm done. Do you guys have anything else? Uh, no, I'm trying to kill some shit and not die. Nice. Uh, Rainick, do you have anything yeah. else? No, I'm good. I mean, you know, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for having having us. And, uh, yeah, we're trying not to die in down there. That's, that's <laughs> I see that. Um, well, shit. I'd like to say, uh, give a shot time to the bus sniffers. I mean, that's a very important service message. Service announcement. Everybody, raise your glass. Get off your ass. Stand up for this. Everybody say, shot time, and then we'll take a piss. I actually do have to pee really bad. I was debating on putting you in charge while I ran to the bathroom real quick, but then I decided that was super dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well, shit. I got nothing else. Rainick? Thank you very much. Burrito, thank you very much. Um, Cheers, homie. Again, I yeah, want to say that myself personally, and I know at least some of the people on staff that I've talked to, think uh, your guild is super unique, and we actually think what you're doing is really cool. Um, keep it up. Don't don't Thanks, succumb man. to the pressure of the easy road. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put you guys on hold real quick. Well, I'm not. I'm just going to mute myself for a minute. Burrito. Are you going to be streaming this evening or are you done? No, I'm good to go. Well, then I'm maybe I'll find out. someone else to host. Um, That'd be dope. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm... Bye, you two. All right, they're gone. It's just us now. All you chat viewers, I hope I caught all your questions. If I missed any of them, I'm sorry. Some of them were stupid, so I skipped them. Uh, what else? What else? Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing support to ALS and Burrito and P99. And all of the things, you guys are great and swell, and I hope you had a good time. If you missed things and you wish you hadn't, I got good news. Those same things, guess what? They're going to be on YouTube probably tomorrow. www.youtube.com slash p 99 Go there. You can watch all the things I've ever done in the history of the world. Uh, what else do you need to know? Oh, you know what else you need to know? Classic EverQuest. Project 1999. We do it better than anyone else on the internet. It's free. It's easy. You go www.project1999.com. You go up in the top leftish area. There's a link called Getting Started. You click it. It's got all the things you need to, guess what? Get started. Do those things. We don't allow real money transactions. We don't allow multi-boxing. It is free forever and ever and ever. There are no station stores or pay to win or pay gates or money things. If you do those things, we will ban you forever. What else should you know? We're in Velius. We see, what, 12, 1300 players, individual concurrent players during max peak hours. We got people of all level ranges. You can get groups in your crush bones and your mist moors and your soul bees and, and even your, your bigger places. We got raiding guilds and we got good people and we got douchebags and we got the whole goddamn buffet of classic EverQuest at your fingertips. You need the titanium client, though. That's a thing. I can't tell you much about that. I'm not going to, right? I guess I could. But I'm not going to. Just know you need titanium client. And uh, I think that's it, guys. I'm going to try to find someone to host in a minute. So if you want to be cool and stick around for a minute, I'm going to try to find somebody who is a small, small little streamer. And maybe we can make somebody's day who would be super exciting and super appreciative. And what else? Do, 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 do. Really? This is, this is how we're going to do this? 
Here we go. We have an AFK person. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. You know what? I'm not hosting anybody. You guys are great. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for playing on the Project 1999 server. Thank you for watching and listening to this here stream. I don't know how you do it. I probably wouldn't have listened to me for as long as you guys have. But uh, you're better than me. That's all. That's all it means. It just means you're better than me. So you all sleep real good tonight knowing that. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm looking for my outcast. Goodbye video. I have a video for this. It's just I can't find it. Do 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 do. I found it. All right, guys. I'll see you. Have a good one. Bye.